I'd like to apologize in advance if my writing seems a little, uh, 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 distracted, uh, today. I'm currently, I'm currently trying to keep a haunted doll from, from stalking my number, um, from stalking my plumber. <laughs> if you haven't heard of the first two posts that I made, then that sentence probably caused you, a, you know, to doubt my sanity. I promise that it makes a lot more sense with context, at least as much sense as my life can make anymore, ever since I became roommates with a possessed doll. Normality has taken a new meaning. An average day for me now includes a lot more glowing orbs and disembodied screams than it did before I posted the ad for a roommate. So, I think that it's perfectly reasonable to assume that I've lost a little bit of my sanity among all of this. The fact that I named the doll Shit Waffle probably doesn't help my cause. Moving on. The plumber is in my bathroom fixing my toilet, which has been refusing to flush for the past few days. Now, usually, I'd be suspicious of my roommate because, because, well, I'm always careful about what I flush down there. Unlike a lot of people I've lived with, trust me, those are not the kind of horror stories you want to hear. However, I don't think Shit Waffle is capable of actually taking a dump, you know, but with not having an anus and all that. I mean, I haven't exactly checked, but I think that's a safe bet, right? Oh god. But what if Shit Waffle can... Shit. I think that would be the most disturbing thing out of all of it. And that includes the demonic rituals. I mean, I'm... Okay, I'm tempting to ask out of morbid curiosity because Shit Waffle is sitting right across from me. Somehow, though, I don't think that would go over well. And I'd really rather not have the plumber frightened away before he finishes fixing my toilet. It's a miracle I managed to get the plumber into the house without anything supernatural happening. Shit Waffle doesn't like visitors very much, especially when they start messing around with things. That's why I keep a very strict eye on the doll while the plumber works. I actually started off with doing nothing but watch Shit Waffle to make sure no mischief was perpetrated. But that got boring quick. See, there's no winning a staring contest with a being that has glass eyes. So I decided to write to pass the time, and since... Until now, I've been pretty busy with the holidays coming up. I mean, I don't really celebrate much. I'm planning on just going to a few parties with some friends, but, you know, I work retail. Crazy this time of year. But I digress, okay? I should start recounting some more of uh, Shit Waffle's antics instead of rambling on about plumbing and work. Well, something interesting I've noticed is that our neighbor's dog absolutely loathes Shit Waffle. St. Bernard alternates between fright and whining and wild barking. Whenever she's walked past our house, feeling appears to be mutual because Shit Waffle deliberately goes out of its way to aggravate the dog. Sometimes it's as simple as positioning itself in the window whenever the dog is put in the backyard to stare at her eerily. And sometimes it's more elaborate. See, once I, uh, I spotted the doll teasing the poor thing by causing her food bowl to burst into flames whenever she tried to eat from it. Yelps of surprise were pretty sad to hear at first, but, you know, as the dog was tricked again and again, it just got annoying. And seriously, if your food spontaneously combusts, stop trying to eat it. My neighbor's convinced that someone is trying to prank her. She often complains to me about the damn kids these days who she believes are bullying her dog. Every time I just force a sympathetic smile, I nod, I grab my mail so I can hurry back inside. I mean, what am I supposed to say? Yeah, sorry, it's my evil haunted doll who enjoys watching your dog suffer. Okay, maybe evil is too strong of a word. But Shit Waffle is most definitely a possessive, aggressive asshole. I mean, just the other night, I stepped out of the shower, ready to brush my teeth and head to bed. The steam from the hot water hung in the air pleasantly, clouding the bathroom mirror with tiny droplets of condensation. I took a moment to breathe it all in. There's something very relaxing about that quiet post-shower sensation. I remember thinking to myself, brushing my teeth contently, drips from the shower head echoing through the tiled room. This isn't an ominous silence at all, I thought optimistically. This is a this is a calm, happy silence. It's nice to have one of these for once. And as I bent forward to spit out the toothpaste into the sink, fate proved me wrong. All the warm air was suddenly sucked from the room, sending chills down my skin like an electric shock. Gah, it's cold, I yelped, jumping up. And that's when I noticed the writing on the mirror traced in the foggy glass too thin to have been drawn by any human fingers, and definitely not there a moment before. I shivered. Rinse, the writing ordered. I looked down into the sink. The foamy toothpaste was still stuck to the ceramic sides, desperately attempting to dribble down towards the drain. Damn shit, Waffle, you micromanaging mother... I screeched in frustration. I was getting to that. Damn! 
Furiously, I splash some water into the sink, and not because a doll told me to. I always rinse out my spit. You know, most most of the time. Sometimes. Nobody's perfect, okay? Anyway, why would a doll care? It doesn't use the sink. Forgetting the cold air, I stomped out of the bathroom in search of my roommate and nothing but my ratty old towel. Shit waffle was, was perched nonchalantly on my bookshelf next to an open copy of the 20th century dolls from bisque to vinyl. The hell do you think you were pulling back there? I raged, adjusting my towel with all the dignity I could manage. Freezing me to death is no way to communicate your needs. I paused. Wait, where'd that book come from? I prided myself in knowing every single book in my house. You probably wouldn't have guessed it from looking at me, but I love to read. I spent a large part of my childhood exploring the public library. But this, this was no compendium of Shakespeare, no, no battered copy of Maya Angelou's poems, no, not even the magic fucking treehouse. This was a picture book of vinyl dolls, and I'd never seen it before in my life. Later, I wondered about how a haunted doll would purchase something at a store. Do they toddle up to the counter, money clenched in one tiny fist towards an aghast cashier? Maybe, I pondered late at night. They had to steal books, and that made more sense. Images of dolls and tiny cat suits lowering themselves from ceilings to snatch books from counters still flashed through my mind when I spaced out. But at, uh, at that moment, the only thing that came to my mind was... Is it like porn for you? Shit Waffle blinked calmly and then turned back to reading the book. Hold on, we still have to talk about the whole mirror thing, I remembered, shaking my head to get rid of the distracting thoughts and dripping water from my hair. Shit Waffle looked at me unimpressed. Okay, so, I leave the sink messy. I admit to that, but you kind of overreacted with the whole spooky ghost message and cold air thing. You don't need to pull stunts like that to get my attention. I can't promise that I'll always be the perfect housemate, but I can promise that I will always try to listen. You can talk to me about this kind of stuff. The doll seemed surprised at my earnest words and glanced up and down at me as if seeing me for the first time. Hope bloomed in my chest. This might be the start of a real communication between us. See, I've never really connected like this before. Like, two people sharing a space instead of just happening to live in it at the same time. Or shit waffle could be checking me out in all my wet towel glory. Uh, by, by the way, I asked, now curious, why do you care so much about the sink being clean? Porcelain arm raised to the point of my towel. First, I thought this was just proof that it was ignoring everything I was saying to stare at my ridiculous attire. And then it hit me. Oh, uh, you, you take baths in the sink? The doll's head wobbled in an approximation of a human nod. Oh, that's... That's adorable, I blurted out. Shit waffle glared at me. I'll make sure to clean out the sink from now on. And if I put a tiny hand towel next to it each night, well, that's... That's my business. Speaking of bathrooms, the plumber actually seems to be in distress right now. I keep hearing splashes and shock gasps from the next room over, but Shit Waffle's sitting right across from me, so so I don't see how it could be... Oh. Oh, shit, the plumber just ran out of the bathroom like a bat out of hell. I'd better go check on him. Okay, a real quick update. Don't have time to write down what just happened over the last hour, but it it was definitely Shit Waffle's fault. It's gonna, it's gonna take some time to get rid of all the, the bones and the, the slime. Ugh, okay, I'll explain next week. Hey there kids, and happy holidays, it's me, Mr. Creepypasta. And I just wanted to tell you guys thank you for watching tonight's video. If you enjoy watching videos here on YouTube, then you should check out the Mr. Creepypasta Storytime Podcast, which is available on Spotify, and on iTunes, and on Google Play, and everywhere like that. If you enjoy listening to Mr. Creepypasta's Storytime Podcast, then you'll enjoy watching it on YouTube, because it's the same show. You guys are both hearing the exact same thing at the exact same time. Also, thank you guys for supporting me on Patreon or on Popbase. You guys who are the top supporters on Patreon especially, thank you so much. Like Joey Gilbert, Jordan Alexander Sanchez, Wayne Milstead, Chaminsky, Ken Lando Higuchi, Brianna Ventine Jensen, Stephen Van Huss, Tristan Pelton, G Weevil 3, Diana Krause, Asia, The Red Oak Shield Virus, Sandy Barney, Nico Kyle, Caleb Dougal, Daniel Paulson, Dante Rao, Last Blade Song, The Ginger Bros, Don Muehlmeister, Eliminator 86, Nubsky, Finley E. Hopkins, Steampunk Sinner, Rafael Rodriguez, Optimistic Avocado, and Dr. Strawberry. Everyone there, as well as in the description down below. Thank you guys so much. If you'd like to also follow me on Popbase, where you can get a couple of different updates here and there and play games along with me, then you can do so on your phone. It's on Android and on Apple. And if you guys are looking for something like a hot beverage, such as, say, a tea for 
the cold winter months, then my wife is still selling teas over at etsy.com slash shop slash ivory monocle tea, including a Mr. Creepypasta tea that has me on it dabbing. Don't actually, actually, if you do order that tea, request that sticker because we made it, but she didn't want me to put it on the, on the tea because she said it wasn't professional. I think it's the, whatever. Check back throughout the entirety of the holiday season for more horror stories every single day. Forever. Sweet dreams, kids. <laughs>